Ever since people were told to stay home, an old classic got a new life, the puzzle. It's been wild. Um, you know, when, when the pandemic first hit in uh, March, our sales just went through the roof. Sean Minton helps run one of the most famous puzzle brands out there, the Jackson, New Hampshire-based company, White Mountain Puzzles. Most of our line is thousand piece puzzles, but the images um, are, you know, we try to make them fun, not too challenging. White Mountain was first started in 1978 by Sean's dad and a business partner. Back then, they were selling posters in resort areas. And then one day, um, someone suggested, why don't you try to make these into puzzles? They make great puzzles. And um, they did that, and that, that launched White Mountain Puzzles. Since then, White Mountain Puzzles has become a national brand, known for their collage-style imagery, meant to spark memories and conversation. A lot of collage images that are nostalgic, Americana, things that you know a group can gather around and talk about, oh, I remember those, and, and uh, they're just fun. While they feature images and themes from all over the world, they don't forget their New Hampshire roots. We've got several different New Hampshire puzzles. We've got an I Love New Hampshire puzzle. We have one that we came out with about 20 years called Best of New Hampshire that's still out on the market. It's one of 400 different puzzles in the catalog, but the most popular seller should come with a bowl and milk. The most popular is actually this one right here. Cereal boxes, the General Mills uh, <laughs> cereal box puzzle. Next, we head to Marlboro to meet painter Alicia Dracciotis. Most of her work captures beautiful landscapes in New Hampshire, including some quiet friends. I have this spin-off series, which I go out and I find old trucks, old tractors, old something, you know, in the, and I put, incorporate them into my landscapes. I nice. call them my old friends. It was during the pandemic when she wasn't painting, Alicia started a puzzle with the family and had an idea. It was pretty boring to me. So I said, I'd like to see my work on puzzles. And this is how I started this. She uploaded about 40 of her paintings on an artist vendor website, which turned her paintings of New Hampshire into puzzles. This one is one of my old friends. It's a, it's an old farm truck in Marlboro. This one is um, Winter Afternoon at Intervale. It's a piece I started up at Intervale Station. While she's excited to have her art cut into hundreds of puzzle pieces, she does admit... 1,000 pieces in blue, in all different blues. Putting those beautiful landscapes back together will be a challenge. If you're looking for a puzzle that's a cut above the rest, you might try Fool's Gold Puzzles. This is from February 1997, so it's one of the first ones I made. It's a little... David Beffenegrini makes custom jigsaw puzzles out of his Nelson workshop. They are a combination of fun game and stunning artwork. This one here uh, is about a thousand pieces, and it's an image of a fisherman that the client wanted to send to him as a gift. Customers can send him an image, he puts it on quarter inch basswood, and then cuts each piece by hand. If you can see the grain, the, the swirl pattern, and the, the puzzle pieces are not normal puzzle pieces. Can you see that? Yeah, I can. That is yeah. some really and intricate this, work. 
For reference, cutting a puzzle the size of a piece of paper is about 160 pieces and can take several hours. My largest one I've done is four feet by four feet, which was a nightmare. <laughs> Since they're handmade, a fool's gold puzzle can be just about any shape and theme. David has recreated everything from Fenway Park to the historical wall dog murals in Keene. Often, the custom puzzles are for special occasions or even included in a marriage proposal. He'll send me an image of using the couple together I may cut it into a heart shape. I may have one piece at the end. I said, you hold on to this piece, uh, and it will say, will you marry me on it, or marry me, or whatever like this. If you look close, one of David's trademarks is to have hidden shaped pieces that match the theme of each puzzle. I try to get it so the olive is in the martini glass. Can you see that? Yeah, I can totally yeah, see that. Um, That's incredible. You know, so it's like little touches like that. One more piece of the puzzle that people just can't seem to get enough of these days. <laughs>